Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to use data bar in Excel where I explained different ways to show multicolors and also I show how to use this table to show this bar in Excel. Okay. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw different shapes in Excel. Okay. In Excel, we have different tools and function for drawing and all are available in the insert menu ribbon illustration section right here there we have shapes text box smart art graphic and pictures to draw anything in there we can choose any shapes or design from shapes if you go in shapes we have lines okay rectangle arrows stars etc to draw anything from shapes in a day okay select any of the shapes we want to draw hold left click drag and draw the shapes in the size you want and then release the key to get the final drawing in this video tutorial we will see all kind of shapes okay with their use and application okay for selecting drawing go to insert menu and select uh, shapes option okay right here you can see it right after the online online pictures illustration okay once you click on shapes you will get a drop down list with all available shapes and figures okay as we can see the type of shapes now let's get us now Take one category at a time to draw any shape from the menu. Okay, from the menu, select the shape by clicking on it. Okay, and draw it anywhere in the in this in the cell. Once draw, you can change its orientation. Okay, and size as well. Okay. Now let's let me use this another sheet to do that. Okay, to do that, just click on this shape okay let's say i want to draw a rectangle uh, or let me say i want to draw a rectangle right here so i'll just click on it so then draw it this way and release my what release my mouse okay now the 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 line the line the line here this very first define the category of shape Okay, it has it has line arrows and the line with arrows. Okay, herbal connect. We also have herbal connectors, curvy uh, line in different form. Lines are used to, for connecting one say or destination with one another. Okay, what what you need to do, use and uh, what you, you can use this for is just, just if you want to connect anything with this, you just draw it right here. Um, can then bring a new maybe a rectangle to connect it together you can see okay now the on the red rectangle part here okay on the red rectangle rectangle part here as we know it is a shape which which has opposite side equal to each other rectangle are mainly used for showing process okay for showing process where something is happening okay now the let's Talk about the basic shape. The basic shape has a different the 2D and 3D shapes. Okay, let's do let's pick one basic shape here. Let's okay, let's pick this isosceles triangle. Okay, if I want to draw an isosceles triangle, you can see I can just pick it here. I can use this line to expand to, to expand it. You can see so now that is it, and then the there is another function right here the very fox uh, shape here is test so what if i want to write anything on this on this um uh, green tabular box so what i need to do is i'll just click on it then drag it on the inside the box and i can type anything there like let's say i type right i can type rectangle okay okay i can type let's say shapes inside the box inside the box, rectangle then okay you can see so i can likewise drag it to increase the words 
the shape okay you can see so i can give it a color if i want i can give it a color okay if i want i can bold it my satisfaction so anything you want I, if you want to do with it you can do it with the text box okay now there's another one here which is followed by what the followed by circle okay followed by circle you can see circle then we have a triangle and shapes with multiple arms side which can be used for decision making mainly mainly okay follow by, there's also followed by what cube okay cylinder which are used for showing data storage now there is another one here block arrow block arrow are used for giving direction to any process it can be one one way or multi-way multi-way block arrows which then this can be this can be used for direction along with your entering the test okay then we also have a flow chart the flow chart is used for creating a process map or process flow which define the process step from start to all to the end okay now we also have a call out here the call out are used for mentioning an important note or comment okay let's say i want to mention an important note or comment here i can just draw a call out and then go there and pick a test going go in there and pick a test i can then write whatever whatever i want whatever i needed to put in there just i can say then please notes okay i can write anything there just to, to notify whoever that i want to give an instruction to on the flow chart okay now let us draw a flow chart by using some shapes we will consider an example of an hierarchy in a managerial setting where we, we implement shapes which we learn here earlier. Now, let let me use this example here which I have done already for for managerial settings. Okay, let's try to draw a simple flow chart for this managerial settings right here. Okay, the first one is to draw to pick a rectangle. Okay, let's pick a rectangle right from the wall here okay here is the rectangle okay you can just pick it right here okay you can change the color if you like right from here you can change the color if you, if you like okay then the next one is okay so let's pick it up let's pick an arrow so we're going to pick an arrow okay from the you can see I'm going to pick an arrow right here okay okay so with an arrow so to come to connect to connect it okay good the next is that i'm going to show you i'm going to pick a line okay let me pick a line from here so this is a line so to connect my arrow okay you can see so you can see the way i'm drawing drawing it i think it should be okay this way okay let me reduce it so okay let me drag it down to this place okay good okay i can see pick an arrow um, okay let me pick this okay sorry okay let me use an arrow okay you can see where i'm drawing the i can copy this particular arrow here and paste it right here too okay just be watching it so drag it down here okay okay join this here okay good now the next is but i can pick another shapes right from here so i can pick another shape so let's pick from the uh, another rectangle that shape right here so you can pick it right right here you can see so i can copy this and again i can then paste it here okay you can see the way i'm doing it so i can pick a test okay you can pick a test right from here then click on this and pick a test then drag it right inside it then you can put in finance okay let's put in finance okay okay the here then you can put in orders 
here okay you can put in others right here go, here go to the inside and pick a shape then you can drag it and release the wall arrow you can then you can see the way i'm drawing it so in between then i can copy this one again so then paste it right here okay okay you can see so then i can then i'll go to inside and pick a test put a test inside the inside the right here okay okay good so so i can i cannot put it for my resource okay okay I can let me put in let me change the what the background here let me change the background right here too okay okay maybe so you can see the way I'm drawing the flow shot okay I can now I can also use the connector right here okay so let me go there and pick another co connector right here okay i can pick any of this connector okay let's say i need this connector right here you can see so if i want to connect this i can choose this i can copy this also connect to connect it okay you can see okay so that is how to draw the so here I can put the top management on the inside here, then drag it and put top management. Okay. Good. Okay. Can give change this color right here and give it a bold. Okay. So you can see then I can also use this connector okay you can also use this connector right here okay okay you can also use this connector right here to connect the flow of the work of the managerial settings okay then I can, I can pick another connector right here okay I can pick another, another connector right here okay you can see that is how to draw a flow shot in a J. just pick any of the words shapes okay just pick any of the word sh shape that is where define your what your flow shot and use it to work to get your exact exact settings okay that is it and don't forget that there are this yeah, please note when you are drawing the flow shaft you need to always connect the shape with each other by putting shape closer to that connecting point we which will get it activated and once done using shape group all the shapes together okay so that whenever you change the worksheet or paste it into another sheet it will not get this pass okay thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the exact function bye and stay blessed